few weeks ago, some friends of mine and I were out in the desert um, exploring some old mining camps. Um, there's quite a few in Nevada. It's the Silver State. And uh, we were looking at some of the, the camps and around the tailings, and there was a few ruins and a lot of trash. And uh, even some mines themselves, um, there you can go in and, and check out. And some of them are pretty extensive. It's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways... I was looking around, I saw some old rusty trash and cans and some broken plates and I looked down into a, a bush and I found an object that I originally thought was an Indian artifact. Um, but let's take a look at it and, and uh, see. So here's the object that I found. Um, it was laying just like this, it was a little dirty so the S didn't show up as well as it does now but um, yeah it's I mean, first glance, it looks like it's stone, and it looks like maybe this was carved, notched out. So, you know, I was thinking like it was like some kind of Indian tomahawk <laughs> warhammer type deal. But, um, no, looking at it, it's definitely metallic. Uh, I kind of cleaned it off a little bit, and you can see it kind of shiny. Um, and uh, it's, it's been melted or, or, you know, melted into this shape. Um, it's tapered and these, these grooves right here, I'm guessing are maybe tongs when it was hot, I grabbed it, and took it out of the, the mold and set it down to cool off. And then somebody put, scratched the letter S on it. Now, <laughs> you know, it's, it's dark in color, but it's, um, could be tarnished and, and oxidized and so your first thought is uh silver is it a silver ingot and i don't know that's what i'd like to find out um so let's do some basic uh measurements here just to kind of get an idea it looks like it's almost four inches three and three quarters maybe by its widest point two two and a quarter so that doesn't really tell us much <laughs> but just to give you a reference on on size three and a, three and three quarters by two and a little you know two and a quarter um, all right okay another test uh, what does it pick up on a metal detector so I have my XP Deus here uh, just my nine inch coil and I I have it set uh, just to my Relic program. Uh, it's a multi-tone program here. Um, but So, you know, we can turn on the pin pointer and it is indeed metallic. So let's see how it reads on the uh, XP Deus. All right, so swiping across the coil here. Definitely a high silver tone. It's a 96 on the dais. So I guess the next question would be, how much does it weigh? Um, I've got this little scale here, and uh, it's pretty accurate. I'll zero it. Um, so this is in grams. Let's do it in ounces. Just more accurate reading um, so it looks like it's just you know 13 ounces pretty much pretty much exactly um, in grams it would be almost 370 grams I don't know if that tells you anything 13 ounces um, so it's not a pound but uh, Anyways, so 13 ounces of some kind of metallic mineral ore that's been mined, melted, shaped into this ingot. Um, it definitely feels solid, you know, 13 ounces of this size. It's, it's a heavy object. Um, so, my, my, you know, my first thought maybe is it's lead. And it could be. It could very well be lead. 
Um, but trying to scratch this thing, um, it it's pretty pretty hard. It doesn't really um, scratch. It, it's, it's not soft like you'd think a lead would be. And you know, again, I could be totally wrong. Uh, it's definitely metallic when you when you rub it, uh, run some of this tarnish off. You can see that it's shiny. And um, I scraped a little bit, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's metallic. So I was reading online about how to test for silver, and um, you know, silver is a very highly conductive uh, mineral or metal. And one way to test, there's you know, there's theories on if this works or not. But one way to test is to see how heat is conducted um, on an object that you think might be silver by p placing an ice cube on it. And the idea is that um, silver will, um, well, basically silver will melt an ice cube really quickly. Um, so let's give that a try and let's see how, I got an ice cube out of the fridge or freezer. Um, you know, and it's, you'd set it, set it on the table. You know, it's, it's ice. It's frozen right out of the freezer. It's, it's not really melting or anything, um, but check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I put it on here, um, you can see it's it starts to melt almost instantly um, and pretty rapidly too. Um, I, th I think that's kind of cool. Whatever whatever type of uh, mineral this is, it's definitely highly conductive, and I would say that passes the the ice cube silver test because um, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like it's on a hot plate the way that that ice is is melting that quickly um, and the the object itself is um, conducting that ice temperature and it is like already ice cold um, to touch but so yeah I would say that that passes the ice cube test and kind of a neat experiment too I didn't know about that but um, so uh, this wasn't conclusive so I ordered a, a a test kit and on Amazon you can order these um, well you can order them a lot of places I would, would assume um, but basically it's a silver and gold test set so it's series of different um, drops of solution um, that test uh, if you're if you're testing for gold uh, it tests the the carat amount or you know if it's gold or not and then this one is for silver and uh, it's kind of neat um, definitely works um, we'll, we'll try it first out with a, just a silver dime. I got a mercury dime here. Uh, if it will focus on that and um, yeah, well, you guys know what a mercury dime looks like. So let's let's give it a try on this uh, first and see what it does and then we'll try it with uh, my mystery ingot and see if I can get it to test positive for silver. So with this kit, it comes with this little scratch pad or test stone I should say. Um, the idea is, is just a little stone, um, not super abrasive. It's actually really smooth. Um, but you can rub a object that's hopefully silver or gold. Um, and then you do a, a drop of the acid and if it reacts to it, then you can determine if it's silver or the, the carrot of gold that it is. So Let's try it first with the with a silver dime. So I'm just going to scratch a little bit of the silver dime in it. You don't have to rub very hard to get a little bit on the on the plate, and you can see that right there. And then what we'll do is put a couple of drops of this. I believe this is nitric acid. bubble out of there. What it should do is it should um, go from yellow to kind of a dark 
corrosive, rusty red color. Um, if it reacts to the silver or not. So let's get in a little closer and take a look at it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but when you dab it with a paper towel, you can see the red in there. And the, the yellow of the uh, nitric acid actually will evaporate off. This, this is the same paper towel I had with the ice cube, so it's kind of damp, so it's not evaporating. But you can see that, that red streak. Okay. So now, I'll try it with my mystery ingot. Um, and I'd already, I've already gone ahead and, and I got like a fine file and just kind of filed off a little edge of that. So I'm, I'm going to be exposing to um, bare metal right there and none of the corrosive outside. So let's kind of rub that, rub a nice solid line on there. You get a good reading. So it looks pretty good. It looks silver in color. Let's see what we get. Pray for silver. Put a little bit on there. You just have to wait a little while. Kind of get it all over on there. I don't know if you remember. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I don't see much red. I see a little bit. It's not like the, the silver dime was over here where the nitric acid's almost completely evaporating and just left a, a red streak. Um, it looks kind of black. You can see it's evaporating now. Um, so, uh, boy, I don't know. Um, and I've done this several times now, and I kind of get the same results. So, if it is silver, it's not very pure, which, which you would expect. I mean, these guys were out in the desert mining. Um, and I should mention most of these mines in the area I was at were primarily, um, I think it was zinc. But... When I read about zinc, and, and you think about like a zinc penny, it corrodes. And I, I don't think it would corrode like this nice dark tarnish. I, I'm, I would imagine that it would be kind of a crusty, flaky corrosion if this was a zinc ingot, which I don't know if they even made those. But uh, I think it's a, it, could, it could be lead. Um, but I don't know. If it's silver, which oh, I would hope it would be because it... It would be cool. Um, it's not very pure, I don't think, because on this test, I'm not getting a very good. I'm not really getting a reading at all. Um, so yeah, let's let's try that one more time just for fun. It's kind of neat, kind of merging science with uh, I don't know detecting or just checking out cool history. Um, I'll put some more of that on there. And uh, if anyone has any comments, if I'm doing this wrong or reading this wrong, or you have any ideas of what this object could be, um, please comment. Be gentle, but, you know, let me know. I'd be curious. Um, so I don't think it would. It should take very long. The dime didn't take very long at all to, to react. Um, and it's such a dark liquid on a dark stone um i know the gold you can see it react a lot better but um with this let's i think it works best just to kind of dab it and then take a look at it and i can see again it's yellow it's evaporating i see some some dark darkness to it but i don't know maybe that's what lead does um but silver is supposed to be red and uh it's not, unfortunately. I wish it was. Believe me, I, I really wish it was. So with the dime, I'm 
I'm just curious how quickly that reacts too. Dab it. Yeah. So you can definitely see that red streak. So there you have it. I don't think I found a silver ingot. If I did, um, it's it's not super pure. Um, I don't know. Like I said, they were out in the desert. They didn't have the type of um, refinery equipment that you know a heavy a, a large mining operation would have. So they might have just crushed down the ore, melted this down to a rough ingot, and then shipped it off. And somehow this one got left behind. Uh, it might have been a mystery metal. They didn't know what it was. I mean, uh, okay. So for a final test, and I should have done this earlier on. I, I kind of, I meant to, and I forgot. Um, you know, maybe this is some kind of steel or iron or something that's uh, magnetic. I should have tested that. Um, so what I got here is some super strong magnets. Um, I actually ordered ordered uh, this one for my pick and it is so strong I opted for a smaller size okay so this magnet right here it is it's really strong I, I think it was oh man I'm gonna say a hundred and ninety pound magnet I mean it, it's it's a beefy magnet and it will definitely stick to stuff um, so if there's any kind of iron steel something magnetic in this rock ingot i should say uh or sample i don't know what you'd want to call it it's going to stick to this magnet um so this will be my final test um and it doesn't it doesn't do anything um so yes it's definitely not magnetic so that should answer that um so i don't know if you know what this is, please, by all means, let me know. Or I'd, I'd be curious what everyone's opinion is on it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was interesting. Um, I posted this a while ago on Facebook, and I got a lot of comments, just people, ideas on what it could be. And so, when I got the te the acid uh, silver test, I thought it'd be it'd make kind of an interesting video. And, and you know, a video you can kind of get a better idea of of what it looks like it, it looks like stone and it actually feels like stone um but it's definitely not it's been it's been molded um the way that it's tapered uh these are definitely like some kind of tong marks and uh so yeah it's interesting but thanks for watching um feel free to comment like and subscribe and uh i'll try to get more videos out appreciate it thanks Bye.